Welcome back, guys and girls, to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. Um, so, um, we have our next main mission. We're gonna do it. Uh, and it's the last mission from, um, the three missions we got from Dad. And we're gonna do it. And we're gonna like it. It's gonna be cool. Um, so we gotta go to ho the Hotel Ro Roland, where we're at now, and, uh, meet this camera woman and reporter to take them to some dangerous places. Vern, I was wondering if I could ask you something. Is it true that the people from the magazine company are staying here? Well, you're certainly right about that. Did you have some business with them? Actually, we're here representing the guild to cooperate with them on getting a story. Really? Is that so? Then I regret to inform you that both of them are out at the moment. Oh, well, do you know where they went? That reporter fellow said something about heading over to the bar. How about you try asking there? The bar. Got it. Thanks. We appreciate the help. To the bar! <clears throat> not the drink. We're underage. Kids don't drink if you're not of the age. Just saying. Uh, that would be here, right? The cafe would be the bar? Yep. Uh, this guy. Huh? Who are you kids supposed to be? Are you perhaps the reporter from the liberal, liberal news? That's right, but how do you know that? I like getting the scoop on things, but I hate it, I hate it when people try and pry into my life. What business do you have with me? We're here representing the Bracer Guild. We were told that you had requested an escort. Oh, so you finally come, have you? I've been waiting forever for you guys to show up. Sorry. Yet, um, prior stipulations, things, you know, you know the drill. <laughs> so, uh, where's Cassius Bright? Um, well, the thing is, he had another job to come up. He had another job come up. So he's not even in Roland. Wh what? I came all the way here so I could get a story on this famous bracer. Crap, what a waste this trip's turned out to be. I don't get what you're so disappointed about, but there's no need to get your boxes in a bunch. We've got you covered. I guess I don't have much of a choice. You'll have to do. Wait, what, what did you just say? Don't get your boxes in a bunch? No, the we've got you covered part. What do you mean by that? It's just like Joshua said, we're your representatives, Bracers. Oh, and here's our referral. Hey, this has got to be some kind of bad joke. This has got to be some kind of bad joke. Are you trying to tell me that you little brats are Bracers? Brats? Is that how you're supposed to address a lady? What do you mean, lady? There's nothing sexy about you in that outfit. If you don't like my assessment, then how about slipping into a skirt and acting like all the other girls your age? This clothing is specifically designed for those who wield the staff. And this looks like a skirt too. Are you blind? You're such a rude old man. Who are you calling an old man? I'm still in my 20s, damn it. Getting back to business, sir. Uh, the fact is that we were dispatched by the guild. I'd be more than happy to introduce you to someone else, but I don't know when they'll be free. Ah, I can't extend the deadline any longer. I guess I've got no other alternative. Alright, rejoice you kids. I'm going to leave this up to you. What a generous old man you are. Easy Estelle. I'm Joshua, and this here is Estelle. And you are? I'm Niall Burns. Ace reporter for the Liberal News. Though we won't be working longer long together, I hope you'll do a good job. Hm. I'll be grateful when this is all over, too. By the way, where is it exactly that you want us to guide you to? The way I see it, you need a trusty guide because you're headed somewhere dangerous, right? Right. My destination is the Asmelis Tower. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Huh. That's it? Not only have we heard of it, but we were there on a job not too long ago. Well, this may just work out after all. So what I really want you to do is guide us to the tower roof. I want to get a picture for the magazine. 
Well, aren't you the thrill seeker? By us, do you mean that someone else is coming along too? Yeah, I've got my camera woman with me. She said something about her orbital camera not working right, so she took off to the orbital factory. But she should have been back by now. If you're in a hurry, then wouldn't it be a good idea to head over there now? No doubt you're going to take off to get your story once you meet up with your partner, right? Yeah, that's true. Alright then, let's head straight to the tower once we pick up my partner from the orbital factory. Uh, rough start for these two. But I think it will be alright. Now, I'm still using the weapons that they gave me. I, I, I'm tempted to buy new ones, but I'm also, like, I don't want to spend the money here. Because, um, like, I don't know. I think, I still think that we're, we're, we're fine for now. But I'm tempted to re-equip. Because, you, you know, yeah. I don't know. I'll make um I'll make two saves. We go Nagamine save and this save. And then if um yeah, if I need to re-equip, I'll just reload and get back there. Wait, anything but that. I'll do anything you ask. Just please give me back my camera. It's worth more than me than my life. This is a problem. What should I do about this, Dad? You're the one who took the job, so you're the one who has to deal with it. What's all the fuss about? Could this person be... That's her. Hey, Dorothy! How long are you going to keep me waiting? D Niall, you came just at the right time. Please help me out here. What did you do this time? You didn't waste all your money, so now... You don't have enough for repairs, did you? D that's amazing, how did you guess? Are you like a clairvoyant or something? And you do the same thing that many times, even an idiot would know what's going on. Do you know this person? I'm sorry to ask this, but can I get you to pay the repairs costs? Fine, but I'll need you to write it off as a business expense. How much? Let's see. The decorative clock and the repairs together are 2,000 Mira. Hold on! I can understand the repairs, but what's the deal with the decorative clock? Well, I was looking around the store while he was doing the repairs and... I saw a pretty clock, and when I picked it up, it broke. But I'm glad we can write it off as a business expense. How wonderful is that? That kind of amount is not going to be covered. Crap. Looks like I'm going to have to pay out of my own pocket. Get my money back later. Here's your 2,000 mirror. And this is your receipt. <sighs> this is an unbelievably awkward combination if I have ever seen one. No doubt about that. The fact that he'll pay out of his pocket for someone means he's probably pretty nice to work under. Sorry to keep you waiting, kids. Had to take care of a little trouble. Who are these kids, Niall? They're the bracers who will be acting as our escorts and guides. They'll be taking the place of Cassius Bright, with whom we'd originally made arrangements. These young kids are? I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you. And I'm Joshua. So it's Estelle and Joshua, is it? You may be young, but you seem reliable. I'm Dorothy Hyatt. I'm the new camera woman for the Liberal News. And at the moment, I'm training under Niall. Why'd I get stuck babysitting this blockhead of a girl? That damn editor-in-chief. Relax, relax. Something good will come out of all this soon enough. You're one to talk. Never mind. Just forget it. Now that we've got everyone together, how about we go and get our story? Our destination is the Esmelis Tower, right? Alright, let's go. Right! Okay. So, Esmelis Tower. Uh... This way. It's still on the Malga Trail, isn't it? I think. I forget. I'm hoping. Is this the right way? I don't remember. Oh yeah, this is the right way. As Melis. 
Uh, this way? Maybe. I don't know. Not trying to run into those things, because it's not like they give any good experience anyway. As Melis! Wow! This tower is really tall! I wonder how many floors it has! The last time we were here, we only made it as far as the second floor. But judging from the scale, I'd say it probably has about five or six. There should be five at least. That's what it said in a book at home. It was investigated some time ago, but it looks like it was abandoned after that. That reminds me. It seems like there are a number of other towers like this in Liberal. That's correct. There are towers similar to this one in the both Ruan and Zeiss regions. They all seem to have been built around the time that the Liberal Kingdom was founded. Is that so? I think I'm starting to feel the history around already. My job this time is to uncover the truth about them. Dorothy, give me a few long angle shots of this place. Sure. Do you think, Dorothy? <laughs> Here we go! Amazing. Is a photographer's personality supposed to change by taking a camera in their hands like that? She certainly looks like a pro. <laughs> Ow! That really hurts, Nile. This happens every time you try to take a picture like that. Quit trying to act professional and just get me a shot using your usual style. <laughs> I guess I should, shouldn't try to turn down my style just to look good. Well, I guess I'll have to do it in my own way. Oh, looking good, looking good. Now that's what I call sexy and cute. Here we go, say cheese. <laughs> I don't get it. Why is she doing that when she's not taking photos of a person? Somehow it seems natural for her. She says that she can see the expressions of the scenery, whatever that's supposed to be. Believe it or not, she takes some pretty breathtaking pictures, acting all ridiculous like that. I guess it could be considered a type of genius. The kind that's borderline insane, though. Wow, people are sure never what they seem to be. Okay, I'm all done here. Alright then, let's get inside. We're headed for the roof. I'm counting on you two greenhorns. You just leave it to us. We won't let any monsters lay a single paw on you. Please, make sure you... Make sure to keep close behind us. Yay. Show off our skills to these two. We only made it to the second floor before. So it's time to beat that record. Yeah, this way. Monster. Third floor. Actually, I should probably see if there's anything down here before I go up. Oh, monsters. Nope, just monsters. Alright, third floor. Monster! Curious to see how we fare against this with our current, like, wear. Oh, okay, that's not bad. I thought we did less. Oh, what? You can heal? Like that? That's not cool. Jeez, serpent -y thing. Yep, you guys go over there. No! Why you come near me? What is wrong with you, Dorothy? Dorothy! Ow. Alright, now we're going twice. No! What? <laughs> I'm not having luck here. Can I go next? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Should finish it. Jeez, Dorothy. What's up? Uh, Dorothy is crazy. What to say? Snelly snails! Um, let's hit them with some spells from over here. Actually, 
Can I just move, maybe? No. Yeah, better just smack him with the spell. Snails would be like water, right? Yeah, fire's the only thing that really is 200% against them. Um, so yeah. Let's use some fire. That doesn't make no sense, but... Okay. Hold that pose! What? She can attack? Or do something with her camera? Ow! Alright, hit this one. To promo. Gotcha. Alright, we have to take a hit. Oh, not. Never mind. Finish him off. Oh, really, dude? They really know how to... Like, enemy AI is pretty, pretty, like, wow in this game. They know what they're doing, that's for sure. Strength up from fire. You down. Nine of that isn't actually bad experience-wise. Like, I could level here if I wanted to. Which I might end up trying once we complete this mission for these people. I'd like to get to, like, nine at least. If we don't get it, like, just from getting through here ourselves. Oh, it's broken. Uh, broken. Next floor. Fourth floor. And then, I, I feel I'm not really checking this area as thoroughly as I'd like to, so... That would be wise to do. Um, wind actually hurts them a pretty good amount, so... i hit this one with the wind. Do another fire hit. Let those two do what they want. Say cheese. Oh, she blinded them, I think. Thanks, Dorothy. You're, you're competent. Uh, unlike your partner there. Mm. Yeah, get him. Let the dual strike. Don't want him doing anything. Ah, nah. You really shouldn't take that risk, Dorothy. I'm just saying. <laughs> you look simply marvelous. Blind. That's good experience. That's very good experience. Uh, weird woofy guy. Uh, fifth floor. Yeah, there, there's chest here. Yeah, I'll have to come back and explore this as thoroughly as possible, which I will do. There's chest. Ah, what's that thing? What are those? And then, okay. Rub, robber trapper. A little bit scared of these things. Let's hope we can take them out. Uh, just attack. I don't want her thing to go way right down like that. Robber trapper is preparing to use an art. Oh no. And they're going so quick. Airstrike. No! Ow. Who are you hitting? Ow. Wow, that hurt. Um. 
we can do this. We can do this. I'm scared. But we can't do this. Um. It's because of these people. I can't. I'm not going to risk it. We'll be back for that chest. I hope. I hope. I feel I can't risk it because of who we, who we have with us. There's another one over there. Oh, hello. Ah, no. Gosh, I don't know how we got through that. Ugh. <laughs> Did we make it? Yeah, we made it. Wow, it's bright out here. It looks like we finally made it to the rooftop. Would you look at that beautiful scenery? This is something else. Looks like we'll be able to get a better shot than I had originally anticipated. And that's the thing I was telling you about earlier. I wonder what that's supposed to be exactly. It looks like a giant orbman operated cauldron if you ask me. According to my source, it's some sort of ancient device. Although nobody seems to know what exactly it's used for. Hey, Joshua, did you know something like this was up here? Joshua? It's no use hiding. I think it would be wise to come out where we can see you. Huh? Please, don't hurt me. Oh, come out already. I'm coming out right now. H who's this guy? So, somebody arrived before we did, huh? What a surprise that was! A nice find, Joshua! And you are? I apologize. Please, forgive me. I'll give you every last mirror I have. Please spare my life. Look here, buddy. Please don't mistake us for robbers or something weird. You do recognize this emblem, don't you? Wait, isn't that the Bracers Guild? So you're trying to tell me that you're Bracers? In the flesh. I'm Estelle, and this is Joshua. And we're here as reporters from the Liberal News. We're having these two provide our escorts. So we can get a coverage on the tower. I'm relieved to hear the plea that please just don't ever scare me like that. The fact that you came up here like that made me suspicious of you all. Look who's talking. You seem like quite the suspicious fellow yourself. Do you mind telling us what, who you are exactly? Now, I apologize for my bel belated introduction. My name is Alba, and I'm an archaeologist. I came to investigate the tower in order to further my research of ancient civilizations. All alone? I'm surprised you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Somewhat. Uh, but actually, I've grown accustomed to investigating rooms like these. You see, I've got a lot of confidence in my ability to flee from monsters, if need be. Although this time I found myself in a bit of a pickle. You are one crazy scholar, if you ask me. However, being an archaeologist would mean that you're familiar with the tower's origins, right? Well, more than the average person, anyway. But since I have only just begun my investigation, there's still a lot of things I don't know myself. That's fine, but is there anything interesting you could tell us about this place? It'll be used for an article. Hmm, let's see. Has everyone heard of the Septarians before? I think Father Divine maybe said something about that before. You mean the seven treasures endowed with power and bestowed upon the ancients by ideals, right? That's exactly what I'm referring to. It seems that these ancients ruled the earth, seas, and skies using the powers of these treasures. It has also been written that they were even able to unlock the secrets of time and life approximately 1,200 years ago when this ancient civilization was destroyed by a mysterious calamity these septarians were also lost 
That is the legend, also recorded in the scriptures of the Septian Church. But what does that have to do with this tower? A uh, part of the legend states that one of these Septarians slumbers somewhere within Liberal. Its name, the Oreal. The Oreal. The word certainly has a strange ring to it. If the legend is really true, I figured I might be able to find some clues here at the tower since it's one of the oldest ruins in all of Liberal. So I came out to investigate. Ah, what an inspiring story. It is, isn't it? You can feel my passion for things of antiquity, right? This is splendid. I'm overjoyed that there's someone else who can understand the way I feel. So, did you find any of those clues you were looking for? I, I'm still working on that part. But if I can figure out how this device works, I might be on this to something. I think it's an interesting story, but it, as it stands, it's a specula speculative, speculative one. A speculative one. From what you've told me, I'm sorry to say, it wouldn't fly as an article. I see. That's uh, extremely disappointing to hear. Hmm. I'm surprised myself. Contrary to my expectations, you are serious about the articles you write. That's because I can't write articles based on uncertain news sources. We may run the occasional gossip column, but it's the policy of the liberal news to verify our, our information. That aside, let's get what we came here for, shall we? Dorothy, I want you to get several panorama shots of the Rowan region. Everything else I'll leave up to your aesthetic touch. Now get out there and get me some good pictures. Understood. Your apprentice Dorothy Hyatt is ready for action. And as for you, Mr. Archaeologist, how about heading back to town with us when we're done here? These two kids may look like a couple of brats, but they do a pretty fine job as escorts. Something about the way you said that makes me feel like it wasn't a compliment. Uh, if it's alright with you two, have me along, then that's far more than I could ask for. Then I guess it's decided. So how about we take a break until Dorothy finishes getting her shots? I call that successful mission. <laughs> wow, that does look like a beautiful view. She's like... <laughs> She's like, I'm in love! Wow, the view is great from here. From this height, I can see all of Roland. With the scenery this good, if someone turned this place into a tourist spot, they'd probably make a boatload of Mira. Yeah, you're probably right about that. What's wrong? You look a little pale. I can't hide anything from you, can I? After we stepped onto the roof, I just started feeling a little woozy. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I think I'll be alright. Once I get a bit of fresh air... Why don't you make the best of this opportunity and have a look around yourself? B but Broadening one's knowledge during a time like this is all a part of being a bracer. If you come across anything of interest, then you can tell me about it later, alright? Sometimes you can be such a smooth talker, you know that? Alright, I'll have a look around. But if you start feeling any worse, you let me know, okay? Sure. Oh. So we're just gonna have a look around as Estelle. As Alright, he's gonna be resting. How you doing, Dorothy? Where you at? I don't... Uh, oh, you're over there. How are you doing? Oh man, the taste of a cigarette is wonderful. At first, I wasn't in the mood to come do a story in a rural place like Roland, but... Sometimes these types of places aren't so bad. If you want to be rude like that, then maybe you shouldn't have come at all. No can do. This is a direct order from the editor-in-chief to teach that blockhead girl a thing or two. Otherwise, I'd be all over the kingdom searching for the latest scoop right now. When you say scoop, don't you just mean gossip for your next article? Not that I have anything gossip... Anything against gossip. But reportage is predominantly, predominantly greater. And in that sense, the place that has my interest peaked is Bose. The Bose region? Did something happen there? A number of large burglaries have taken, pl taken place one after another. The identity of the criminal is unknown, but it seems as though the group has got a pair of wings. Wings? 
Oh, I see. An airship, right? What are they, sky bandits or something? That seems to be the most logical conclusion. But there's also the possibility that this could be an... initiative dis... an imitative deception by the Erebonian Empire. What? That's impossible. We're supposed to have a peace treaty with them. Sure, but the Empire incurred some heavy losses during the war ten years ago. They can't do much now that every other nation on the continent has their eyes on them, but... It could be a way to get back at us. That said, nobody really knows for sure. Which is why our job, as reporters, is to bring those things to light. Oh, Estelle, this place is wonderful, isn't it? I'm even starting to wonder if the, no the number of photo courts is going to be enough. The scenery sure is great, like you say. By the way, what's a photo quartz? It's an ultra-thin ultra ultra -thin crystal circuit fabricated from septium. It's set up so that you can take a photograph by burning it with light. That's just what I'd expect from a camera woman. Someone who knows the tools of the trade. Tee <laughs> That reminds me, what's the deal with Joshua? Well, he says he's getting some fresh air. A raven-haired young man standing slightly, silently in the flowing breeze. I think I could take a really good picture with that kind of setting. Do you think he'd let me snap a shot of him if I asked? He doesn't seem to be a fan of that kind of stuff. I think he'd probably turn you down. Aw, oh, what a waste. He's probably just shy, right? Probably not, I don't know. Joshua has a lot of secrets behind him. I, I mean, that's what, what the initial reaction is to him. Oh, hi there, Hestel. Was it, it, is your partner feeling alright? Yeah, he said he just wants to get a bit of fresh air. No, you see, there's certainly a nice breeze up here, isn't there? I wanted to say, however, that I'm impressed that the both of you are bracers at such a young age. If I remember correctly, one must be at least 16 years of age to qualify to become a bracer, right? You sure know your stuff. And that's right, I'm exactly 16 myself. How nice it is to be young. There are limitless possibilities at that age. If I were about 10 years younger, I'd solve the mysteries of all these ancient ruins across the entire continent with, their ver with these very hands. The in entire continent, huh? That's a pretty tall order. Which means that you're not from Liberal, right? No, I was born in the North. I'm a bastard. No. <laughs> but just for the record... I'm not from Erebonia. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Although I hate war with a passion. That hatred isn't directed at the people of the Empire. You lost someone dear to you? Yeah, my mother. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up any painful memories. It's okay. It happened more than ten years ago. And since then, there's been a new addition to the family. Oh, so you mean that boy over there? Yeah. He's like a little brother. Although he's probably trying to act more like an older brother. <laughs> I wonder why I'm telling you all of this. Usually this isn't the kind of thing a person tells others. It's perfectly fine. Aren't good relations such a wonderful thing? Alright. What's up, Joshua? You alright? Are you still feeling sick, Joshua? No, I'm much better. I should be good to head back whenever everybody's ready. I'm relieved to hear that. What brought this all on, anyway? I doubt it was a lack of oxygen in the tower. Because the rest of us are alright. Maybe it was a sudden fear of heights? I... I don't think so. Estelle! Joshua! Are you finished taking pictures? You bet I am. And I got a lot of good ones, too. And it looks like we're done here. How about we head back to town? Alright, Greenhorns. Lead the way. I'm counting on you children. Do we have to run all the way back down with them? Okay. Thank you so much for escorting me back here. This is the first time I've ever been able to make it back from some ruins without being chased or bitten. Or I don't know how to begin to express my appreciation. You don't need to thank us. It's our duty as bracers. I think you'd be better off hiring some bracers to begin with next time you go off to investigate some ruins. My head says yes, but my wallet says no. I'll try and save up a bit, though. Well, have a wonderful day. I hope we can all meet again. I 
think it's about time we said goodbye as well. I was a bit nervous at first, but you kids did a fine job. Let me just say, thank you to the both of you. That's what I like to call raw skill. No, don't get all cocky on me. The braces I know would make you two look like fle fledgling, little fledglings. Not ready to leave the nest. You're going to need to work harder. I'll try to remember that. So are the two of you headed back to the company soon? Nah, we're going to spend a day or so relaxing here in Roland. I need to write up a rough draft for some articles and such. I'll head over to the Orbo factory and get these photographs developed. Take it easy, you two. That's a job well done. I guess this is the last of the jobs we got from Dad. They were much tougher than I thought they'd be. I agree with you there. I feel like I have a greater awareness now about what it means to be a bracer. It's not just about fighting for justice. There you go again, saying all the right things. But yeah, I guess I get where you're coming from. It seems like we've got a long road ahead of us if you want to succeed in this profession. For the time being, why don't we why don't we report to the guild? That sounds like a good idea. Okay. But before we go, how are you doing? Still not feeling well? Thanks for asking, but I'm feeling a lot better. Yay. Okay. Sorry, Estelle. I just like playing as Joshua. He looks cool. <laughs> it's nothing against being a woman character as the main character. I just like playing as Joshua because he's cool. He just looks awesome. Alright, reporting to the guild. Oh, hey, Scarazard. Oh, Estelle and Joshua. Scara, what are you doing here? This is a rare occasion. You're usually out and about. I just finished the job that I took over for your father. And I was reporting to the guild. So you finished your load too? Somehow or other, I guess. I heard from Aina that you guys aren't doing too bad yourselves. I guess everything I went through to train you two amounted to something. <laughs> We're grateful too. Well, I guess we'll report in as well then. Go ahead. Let's hear what you got. Yay. Good work, you two. How about you, Scarazard? Don't you think they've done a fine job? For a bunch of newbies, you did an average job. But you shouldn't be satisfied with that level of work. Especially you, Estelle. You're always the first to get on that high horse of yours. Okay, okay, I get it already. Great work, all of you. I'm surprised that we were able to fill the work gap left by Cassie so quickly. I wonder if we'll be able to relax for a bit now. I don't know. I can imagine that the downtime might be a bit of a drag. Well, that won't be a problem. Since there are plenty of other small jobs like patrolling the roads and exterminating monsters. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been able to take a break. Alright, it's time for my reward. I'm going to drink until I can't drink anymore tonight. Estelle, Joshua, you two join me as well. Nah, we have to watch you get plastered and make a fool of yourself? <laughs> oh, so what you're saying is that you're turning down my invitation? You've got a lot of nerve to do something like that to your mentor. What am I supposed to say? Your drinking habits are intolerable. You cause a ruckus, dance like a maniac, and try to strip in public. Oh god, I want to go drinking with her. <laughs> Agreed, it's pretty embarrassing. Scarazot, just where do you think you're going to take these underage kids? Come on, the alcohol is what makes things entertaining. But if you're so against coming along with me, then I don't need you, Estelle. Wait, really? Yup. Oh god. Instead, I'll just have Joshua make up for your absence. Why me? Um, uh, um, Scara? N now hold on a minute! <laughs> Joshua, you look like you'll make a fine companion. Whether we're talking booze or something else behind closed doors, I'll help break you in. B break me in? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you big pervert, Joshua, why are you drooling like that? It's not what you'd think. We've got a major problem. 
Okay. Mayor Klaus? <sighs> oh, my arthritis. Estelle, Joshua, and Skirazar. Am I glad to see you? S safe by the bell. What's wrong, sir? Why are you in such a hurry? I know what this. I know what's coming. This is terrible. My, my home disaster. It, it, it's gone. What? All right, calm down, Mayor Klaus. Take a deep breath and let it out. Scarrow's <sighs> uh, is so sexy. No, I mean what? Uh, apparently, it seems as though my home was robbed while I was out. What? That's not being calm at all, Estelle. I had something to speak with Father Divine about, so I was over at the chapel, and when I came home, it was rather odd for no one to greet me at the door, so I looked around and the rooms were in a state of great disarray. Uh, wait, what about your wife and Lita? Don't worry, they're both fine. I found them locked up in the attic room. That's a relief to hear. It's lucky that no harm came to anyone. It won't get us anywhere just sitting around here. So could you take us to the crime scene, Mayor Klaus? Uh, absolutely. I appreciate your co cooperation. Wait for me. I'm going too. Good idea. We may be able to be of some help. Well, if you insist. Ina, we'll be at the mayor's place investigating the incident. If you have anything come up, just toss it on the ridge's shoulders. I'm sure he's just relaxing at the bar anyway. Yes, I'll do that. And everyone be careful. Wow, that is trashed. Wow, this place is an absolute mess. The crooks really tore through here. Look at the safe! The safety on which was supposed to be given to Her Majesty the Queen has been stolen. I'm really sorry, especially after having you go to all the trouble to bring it here. It's not you who should be apologizing. It's the crooks who are in the wrong. Yeah. You tell him, Joshua. By the way, how are the other rooms in the house? The other rooms, for the most part, appear to have been left untouched. They're about as messy as the attic room in which my wife and Lita are locked up in. We're locked up in. Hmm. Estelle, Joshua, there's something I want you to do. Which is? I'll speak with the mayor about the incident. I want you two to check out the inside of the house. You mean like an on-site investigation? Are you sure we're up to the task? Since we're all here, splitting up would be the best way to cover the most ground, no? Alright, we'll see what we can do. Be prudent and accurate. Alright, Mayor Klaus, how about we talk in the parlor? Sure, uh, now where to begin? An on-site investigation, huh? I'm starting to get butterflies in my stomach. How about we start from this room? And let's not forget to ask for witness statements from the other residents. Sounds like a plan. Alright, let's do it. It's a clutter box. It's empty. The box lock. Looks like it was burned off. The criminals may have been... have used an orbital gun. Okay. Looks like he's got some valuable antique books here as well. The criminals either had no idea about the value of the books or... They did it to steal the books. They they were looking through all of them to find it. Books. Okay. 